Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I just wanted to extend a warm welcome to T. Martin Airlines. Special shout out to our executive platinum pro plus diamond gold club members. We appreciate your loyalty. We know you have a choice when flying these friendly skies and we're glad you're flying them with us. No, but seriously, if any of you guys ever thought you would get in an aircraft with me, <laughs> Good luck. What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are about to dive right into this thing. We are going to be way over our heads, but I'm excited and uh, it's just, dude, this, this is going to be an incredible game. It's going to be an incredible series. Literally the world is at our fingertips. We can travel anywhere in the world, see any landmark, land at any of the 37,000 airports. Go watch animals, look at live traffic, live weather, that sort of thing. It's it's seriously going to be really, really cool. And I'm excited to embark on this journey with you guys. Now, uh, big shout out to Microsoft. They provided me with an early review code so I could hop on and bring you guys some early videos. Uh, the game officially comes out on August 18th, a few days from now. And uh, it's, it's the first flight sim release in like nearly 15 years and the first one ever to be both on PC and on Xbox. So be sure to check it out if you guys want. But um, we're just going to hop straight into it here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys off the bat, all right? I am not the most experienced pilot. In fact, if, if we're talking aeronautical knowledge, it's it's probably, you know, novice at best. But I am willing to learn. I'm looking forward to learning. I know there's a pretty intensive training course in this game, so I'm thinking we're probably going to end up going through that. I'm going to do research on my own. I'm going to watch other videos on my own. I know there's a crazy sim community out there of people who are very knowledgeable and very passionate about flight sim games. And uh, I'm hoping by the end of it, we can become a decent pilot. So here's here's the main menu. This is what I was talking about. We've got a training segment. So we've got everything from basic controls to your instruments, takeoff, landing, traffic patterns, solo flights, learning how to navigate, that sort of thing. So obviously we're gonna work our way through this and that's gonna give us a baseline. But I think to start, let's just see what happens. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're just gonna hop into this and we're gonna see how we can do let's see where our baseline is i'm gonna say let's let's start at the executive airport in orlando and we are gonna fly to the executive airports in tampa here i was already kind of messing around with the menus trying to figure out how to get things started and whatever else but uh yeah it's gonna be a, a pretty short flight about a 15 minute flight and uh i think i was looking at some of the airplanes i think we're gonna go with something like this a beechcraft king air these things are beautiful they're beastly it's a i think a turboprop is what you would call it right it's a propeller plane i don't know if it's a turboprop you guys will have to let me know but uh they're pretty fast they're very luxurious it, it's basically like a step under flying a, a pj a private jet they do have private jets in this game you guys can see we've got some cessna citations Citation CJ4. Those are a little bit more advanced and I think we need to learn a little bit more about those before we try to tackle them. From what I can tell, it seems like this, this King Air should be fairly easy to manage. I mean, we could start off with something like a, a Cessna that, that's you know as, as basic as you can get, but I figured we could try something a little bit special. And eventually we're gonna work our way up and eventually we're gonna you know, fly, fly a 747 double-decker. Oh man. We are in it now. There are two ways I'm stepping off of this aircraft. Number one is onto the tarmac of Tampa Executive Airport. Number two is probably on the side of the road somewhere, maybe in the Gulf of Mexico, probably in a million little pieces. So here we are inside the cockpit of a Beechcraft King Air. And uh, I mean, we're, we're gonna get ready to go. Dude, this is so insane. We've got our co-pilot next to us here. Back in the cabin back here, we can comfortably accommodate up to eight passengers so invite all your friends and let's ride out so it looks like we want to disengage the parking brake off the bat joystick button six i'm not sure i, I don't have that one memorized so uh the cool thing is is that every button you see on this dash actually has a meaning and you can actually control it and flip them and move them and stuff like that that looks like a parking brake nope that's landing gear it's a good thing Good thing those are down. We definitely don't want to uh, to move that. But yeah, like here, here are all of our our you know throttle switches and stuff like that. So we, I can control those manually. But then all of uh, all of these things, like if I if I want to turn approach mode on, I can do that. If I want to move this thing around, I can spin it. Uh, even these are touch screens, so you can change different things. Obviously, we're gonna learn what all of this means as we go through tutorials and as we learn. I'm not too worried about that today. Really, the only thing I'm worried about is we've got to find the... Where's the parking brake? 
I have no clue. Would it be up top, maybe? Panel lights. We've got different gauges and stuff. There's our compass, emergency lights. I would imagine it would be so... Ooh, what's this? Inop. That's inoperable. It's got to be somewhere down by the feet. Hold on. Let me, let me look over here. Ooh, what's that guy? Release the parking brake. All right, cool. We got it. So let me recenter our camera. I'm going to zoom us out a little bit and maybe make us a little bit taller so we can see over the dash. I am kind of a tall, a tall dude. So, oh, we're already, we're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. Okay, parking brakes off, we're, we're good to go. Um, when we're on the runway, the rudder is the main thing you use to steer. So we're going to go ahead and increase power a little bit. Just be really smooth with it. I don't think we need full power to be able to take off. I'm going to move it up to about 80% power. And again, we want to use our rudder to be able to keep us, keep us going in a straight line. If we go outside here, you guys will see... Right on my pedal turns us right, left on the pedal turns us left. Let's just try to go straight down this runway here. Get to takeoff speed, which I'm not sure what takeoff speed is. Kind of seems like the nose is starting to lift here, so let's, let's try it. Are we off the ground? We're off the ground, baby! Oh, landing gear, landing gear. We got to put landing gear up. Uh, that, was, that was down here. I got to move to the right. Let me go ahead and turn that up. Looks good. All right. We are flying. I do think we're going to want we're going to want to put our flaps up, right? We're in takeoff. You want flaps up when you're flying. There's takeoff landing and then flaps up, I believe. Let's get back outside. What's happening? I'm I'm seeing lots of lots of shadows and stuff. We're good. So we're we're flying past uh past downtown Orlando right here. We're stalling. Why are we st Oh, probably bring our our fuel mix down. I don't think you need heavy fuel mix after you're off the ground. But yeah, that's downtown Orlando off to our right. That white building right there down in the bottom right. That's the Amway Center. That's where the magic play. And my house is off to our left. I can see my lake and I can see exactly where my house would be. I'm not going to say because I don't want to dox myself. But uh, yeah, that's dude, that's crazy. I can, I can see my lake and it looks exactly like it does. You guys can probably figure out which one it is because you've seen videos and stuff like that. But um, all right, so let me... Let me get back up in here. The dude on ATC is trying to talk to us. I don't know how to manage comms. I don't know how to change frequencies. I don't know how to do that, man. So I'm sorry. I'm just going to ignore you. Uh, we need to we need to focus on our flight path here. I'm going to try to go get on this pink line. I'm pretty sure this pink line is our flight path. At least that's going to tell us how to get there. I would expect that this isn't the actual official flight path that it really wants us to take because usually airplanes won't go in a straight shot to their objective. They'll they'll kind of take different routes depending on traffic and weather and stuff like that. But yeah, dude, we're, we're chilling. Do they, I mean, this is the easy part of the flight. Obviously, takeoff and landing are, are the super intense parts of flying an airplane. The middle part is a little bit more, you know, checking over things communicating with air traffic control as you enter different airspaces and stuff our our airspeed is still is still pretty high we're up in the 190s i've got i've got our throttle down okay now we're now we're losing airspeed a bit that's good we definitely don't want to go too high because if you're too high then we're stressing out the engines and and we could run into some issues with that i'm just going to bring our throttle and our fuel mix really far down and I guess, uh, I guess we'll see if we can get this to a manageable speed. Let's go back outside the aircraft. Dude, this is so sick. We've even got our, our instrument panels and stuff out here so we can see our speed in the bottom left, altitude in the bottom right. We've got our, our pink line there. So it looks like if we really want to line up, we probably need to go a little bit more to the left here. I think you want that center line to be in line with the other two parts of the arrow. So as we go this way, it should bring it a little bit closer and then we're gonna start to kinda even out, start to point our nose in the direction of the arrow. Oh. Stalling, that's not good. All right. We are pretty much perfectly on line here. I think he's talking to other aircraft on the, uh, on the comms currently. I don't think he's talking to us. You know what? I'm gonna turn our comms off. Did that did that just shut him up? I'm the pilot now. Look at me. I'm I'm the captain, alright? Don't be talking to me. Don't be telling me what to do. We're at about 5,000 feet, 5,200. We'll stay here. This seems like a good altitude for us. Our airspeed is is you know normalizing. We're getting down towards that 135 that it wanted us at. We can speed it up if we give it more throttle. But we're gonna go ahead and we're we're just gonna go down to cruising. 
to cruising altitude here. I honestly don't know where our fuel mix should be. I know you want high mix when you've got like high RPMs and you're taking off and stuff. I would assume somewhere around 50%. 25% I dude I don't know hey y'all having fun back there all right just just look it out for you want to make sure you're having a good time we're we're in route here we're looking pretty solid let me take a look at our map here let's see about how far we have to go we're, we're almost halfway there so y'all y'all just hang in there things are uh things are looking mighty nice we got clear skies ahead <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's your captain speaking again. Uh, for those of you on the left side of the aircraft, if you want to go ahead and lift up those sun visors, you are gonna see Flanders Field off to our left. It's a bit of a ways out there. Um, not really sure what it is, but it's a point of interest, so I just wanna let you know. All right, captain out. Look at us, boy, we got that pink line perfectly lined up. Oh, we got Burtwood Ranch over on the right. Now that I think about it, I mean, I wanted to do, you know, Orlando to Tampa just because that's like where I live. That's something local to me. We probably could have picked a more exciting place to fly. We could have flown over the Grand Canyon or something like that, you know, flown over New York City. But hey, at least Florida is flat. There's not a lot to worry about. You're going to have good weather. This actually probably was a pretty good, pretty good spot to learn. Over time, dude, there's, there's gonna be so much cool stuff we can do. So many crazy places we can fly to around the world. I wanna fly to the edge of Australia. I wanna fly around Thailand. I wanna fly through the mountains in Japan. Like, it, 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 is, it is gonna be insane. I'm just so blown away by how cool this is, dude. Just the level of freedom, you know what I mean? Like, if, if you had an aircraft and your pilot's license, which is obviously extremely expensive, both to attain the license as well as to, you know, own and maintain an aircraft, all the, the maintenance and stuff like that. But, like, just to be able to get up and go. 15 minutes being Tampa. Like, that's insane. Tampa has a, a Portillo's. Portillo's is, is kind of like a Italian beef, hot dogs, cake shakes, kind of stuff like that. Um, I think it originated in Illinois. That's, that's where I used to have it all the time. We don't have one in Orlando. So sometimes Chelsea and I will make a trip over to Tampa and we'll get it. Not too often, but occasionally. And it's like an hour and a half drive, you know, close to a two hour drive maybe with traffic. There ain't no traffic up here. Babe, let's go hop in the, the King Air. We're gonna be there in 15 minutes, land, you know, rent a car or whatever, have a car waiting for you. Go on over, get, get your Portillo's and then fly home. Fly down to the Keys for a weekend, stuff like that. Do that, that would be, that'd be pretty incredible. Just thinking about how like, you, you could go anywhere in the world if you had an, an aircraft like this. We're well over halfway there, you know, probably a little bit past three quarters of the way. This is this is Tampa Bay over here, dude. It would be pretty sick if we kind of bypassed it and we went around, we could see like, you know, Clearwater and St. Pete Beach and stuff like that. Some of the most beautiful beaches in the world right here in uh, in Central Florida. But uh, yeah, things things are going pretty well. It's just kind of just kind of puts it along. I think I'm just starting to make out the bay on the horizon there. Let's take a look at the outside. Oh yeah, dude. That's Tampa Bay and the Gulf of Mexico beyond it. We have traversed half of the state of Florida. And uh, I would imagine, I mean, our, our, our airport has to be coming up here pretty soon. I know it's one of the, the first ones. Let's go ahead and focus on the plane here. Oh yeah, dude. We're, we're coming in hot. It is well before the bay. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we might we might try to, you know, do a little bit of a scenic, a scenic tour. How are we looking on fuel? I know our fuel is displayed out here. We've got 44% of fuel left, so we, we got plenty of time on that. We could at least go by. It looks like it's not actually directing us into the airport. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not giving us, like, a path and what runway to choose and stuff. I, I would assume that... That would probably come with, with your air traffic control, talking to them, that sort of thing. Um, so since we're not in contact with them anymore, that's that's not good for us. But yeah, it should be it should be coming up right here in front of us. Is it gonna show up on our screen at all? Oh, there it is, Tampa Executive right there. We didn't even have the right heading here. I mean, obviously we're a little bit too high right now anyway, but the the you know it's it's diagonal to us. We we were not we were not gonna be able to land on that runway. So I'm thinking we go out, we go to the right, we're gonna loop on around, take a big sweeping circle, maybe take a look at the beaches in downtown Tampa you can see over there. And we might try to land the opposite way. You can open up a, a bigger map here. So let me, let me try to open this map up. And let me see if I zoom out a bit. So you can see that the, the runway kinda runs this way. It runs kinda diagonal. 
we want to come in we want to kind of be over this body of water here this little like upside down a that should put us a little bit more in straight line with the runway and we we should we should be able to land it i guess we'll, we'll see what happens we're just gonna keep on cruising we're gonna enjoy the flight enjoy the the scenery and stuff because who knows if we're currently on our last few breaths. This is so sick, dude. We've got downtown Tampa Bay peeking out of that left window right there, right above our left prop. Looking beautiful as ever. Oh, shoot. It looks like we're actually coming up on another airport. Is this Tampa International? Don't tell me this is Tampa International. Let me let me go inside and, and take a look at our, our screen here. KTPA. Yes, that's Tampa International Airport right there that we are flying over. An international airport. This, uh... This would not be the best idea. So we're, we're just going to go ahead and, and try to try to skirt on out of here. I don't think we have that much traffic enabled, but obviously... Oh, we're stalling. We're stalling. We're fine. Turning a little too aggressively there. I'm not even going to risk running into anything or anybody here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's try to get ourselves situated. Like we said, we want to kind of come over the, the, the upside down A. So that's going to be a little bit to the right of the city. Look at these views, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, not too much, Trev. Not too much, not too much. Be careful. Obviously, straight on. Oh, we're stalling, we're stalling, we're stalling. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. It's, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. I mean, this thing isn't a fighter jet. You can't really do that. I think we would be better doing smaller movements with our rudder and stuff like that, but we're, we're, we're gonna be just fine. We are going to be A-OK. -okay. So I think, let me see our A here. I think we're actually looking pretty good. Yeah, I think we're pretty online, dude. I think we're doing all right here. I'm going to try to do most of this from outside the airplane here. I think that's our best chance of success. You know, trying to land for the very first time inside the airplane is, is not the best idea. But I, I think we're, I think we're fairly online. I hope, I really hope. Let's go ahead and slow these engines down and stuff a bit. Dude, there's so, we gotta put the flaps into landing mode. We gotta put the landing gear down. Those are the two things I know that we have to do. And, and apart from that, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It's somewhere over here. I wish we could highlight it from a ways away so that I knew exactly what I was looking at. Shoot, dude. Oh, there, oh, there it is right there. No, we gotta go to the right and then we're gonna have to cut it back left. Okay, we gotta slow these engines down. Big time. We need to get inside. We need to, uh, we need to do, uh, where were the flaps? We want flaps into landing. Okay, I think, I think we hit the flaps too early. It's also telling us we need landing gear, which I understand. We definitely hit the flaps too early. I think you would have pulled the flaps like, you know, one of the last things you do, but we're, we're gonna do this the Trevor way. We're, we're fine. So we're gonna go a little bit more to the right. We're gonna land on that big gray runway right there. A little bit more to the right, and then we're gonna straighten her out. We're gonna get it down closer to the ground. We do have a decent amount of speed here. Landing. I don't know what our landing speed is, so I'm, I'm just going to play it by ear. I'm going to start to bring it down a little bit. Let's bring her in nice and steady. Landing. We are going to have to swap and put down the landing gear at some point. At what, at what speed can I put the landing gear down? I'm not sure. Okay, we got to be careful. I'm going to put the landing gear down. Landing gear down. Are they down? Yes, they're down. Bring her in slow, bring her in slow, bring her in slow. I'm taking off the gas. Maybe too, too, too little gas? Maybe not. Here we go. I've basically taken everything off. Every, everything's off. It's all off. We need to slow down. I'm turning the engines off. Engines are off. It's getting a little bit laggy. Well, that's okay. Oh! Oh! Nice and steady, Trev, but you're gonna run out of runway. You better put her down! Brakes! Nope, nope, run her, run her to the right, run her, okay, okay! Oh! We landed it! Engines not started. All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit more gas. Let's do control E, get these engines started. Come on now, just a little bit of throttle. And we got to taxi off the runway. It's not complete until we taxi off the runway. Dude, that was sketchy. We had to completely kill everything because I didn't think we were going to get to a low enough speed. Oh, no, we're getting going again. Hold on. Hold on. We're good. We're fine. So our rudders are the way we move and there are brakes. So let's let's not go too crazy here. Let's not go too crazy. Hold on. We got to break. We got to break, boys. We got to break. We got to break. We got to break. We got to break. 
And then we're going to try to turn in here. I, this isn't actually doing anything. I don't know why I'm using the yoke. All right. I was on the brake there on accident. All right. Just turn, 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 turn. So I feel like we're going really fast. Let's let's back this let's back this back down. Where's the hanger? Where's the hanger? I'm gonna keep our fuel mix fairly low. Keep keep all this stuff down towards the bottom. Okay, there we go. This is a little bit more manageable. We just don't wanna we don't wanna go too fast. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with these two because they both seem to do the same thing. But sometimes it doesn't like me when I put them both up, or sometimes it it you know, needs one down and one up, and I, I, I don't know, it's it's kind of odd, but we are going to try to taxi this thing in. This is so weird steering it with your feet. You don't touch the yoke when you're on the ground. That's so, so odd, but we did it, dude. Like, we, we actually, we actually piloted an airplane across half of the state of Florida. Like, I, I'm, I'm blown away that that actually worked. 20 knots exceed, uh, speed limit exceeded. Yep, we're going to have to watch out we're gonna have to watch out for that, but I, I I can't I can't believe that actually worked worked out as well as it did. Looks like we've got some some baggage traffic coming up in front of us. Probably gonna want to slow down a bit, slow down a bit, slow down a bit, slow down a bit. I don't really know where we turn in at. I don't think this is where they're gonna put the airplanes, but we're we're just gonna go, oh break 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 break. You're you're gonna hit those guys. Okay, I'm leaving it here. Turn her off. We're gonna go. We're back at the main menu. We made it safe and sound. I told you guys how I was gonna get you there. It's just a bit of a gamble, but uh, that's all right. So I'm excited, dude. We are gonna hop into flight training next. That's gonna be in the next episode. Uh, but uh, we're, we're gonna learn all about how to fly and we're actually gonna kind of get a better feel for what we're doing. Obviously the learning doesn't end there though. There's, there's a lot that goes into it. So I'm excited to see what comes next. Hope you guys are too. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to explore the world, see all the, you know, crazy terrain and the, the, you know, points of interest and the seven wonders of the world, we can go cruise around the Statue of Liberty. We can go, you know, anywhere we want to. We could go see the Great Wall of China. We could do anything that we want, which is, uh, is pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to see you guys next time. And uh, thanks for flying T-Martin Airlines.